Uh, Yasina asks, um, when I want to move from tutorial hell to create a mini project like Music Player, fear takes a hold of me and I don't know where to start. Are there any steps I can take when cre uh, creating projects? So um, the main thing here, Yasin, is um, uh, your first goal is to find a simple, well-built, open source, uh, simple, well-built, deployable, um, open source example. I would look at GitHub. So you could search, obviously, GitHub. Um, or even Google source code. Now, there's a caveat there because if you find a, the source for a Google app, it might not be simple. But let me just uh, demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Android desk clock source. After like API 26, my, um, my uh, published application POS Trainer broke because you are no longer able to start an activity from a background or an idle state um, from the background. And in order to figure out how to actually solve that problem, I ended up having to spend like two weeks studying the source code for the Android desk clock application. Um, so that's really the main thing that I suggest here. Um, look for good quality source code. Um, and then the next thing is, um, some so here's a, a very direct example here i showed everybody earlier the um llvm tutorial the entire time i was going through the uh first two chapters of this particular um project here or this tutorial to learn um compiler development or a language development same thing in a sense slightly different um, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't really understand. Um, and part of that was because I'm, I'm getting better, but I'm still kind of a beginner with C++. I would say beginner, but like intermediate. Um, so I wasn't super familiar with things like, um, yeah, for example, like what does the STD move command do and what are unique pointers? And there was some stuff like that that I wasn't familiar with. And I ended up going through the first two chapters of this tutorial and not really feeling like I had a big picture understanding of what the hell I was doing. I was just kind of following, blind, following along blindly and writing code. Um, sometimes you need to do that. So you mentioned here that you don't know where to start. Sometimes it just requires writing out a whole bunch of code. Again, hopefully it's a deployable example and understanding that you might not initially understand what you're doing, but even just as you're writing the code out, you might start to, the wheels might start turning and you might start to understand better. So I think that's all I'll say about this particular thing. Um, the best thing to do is find a simple, well-built, well deployable open source example to base your mini project on and copy, like don't just copy paste, but follow what they do. And that's what really works for me.